But I'm going to bring it around town back to AI, artificial intelligence, because a main component of that is neural networks, which will be presented, be presented by my good friend, Jacob. Thank you. Uh, for a more serious example, 
Does this person have a tumor? It's a simple question on its face. It's uh, just binary, yes, no. But expert oncologists have a difficulty with this every day. If you train a neural network on images, uh, on X-ray images with tumors and without, and tell it which is which, eventually you'll be able to learn. You'll be able to learn to identify whether someone has a tumor or not with astonishing accuracy. And these are just some of many applications of neural networks. They have applications in finance, in medicine, in games, in architecture, in, in virtually any field you can think of. Because once they've had enough training, they can make decisions, predictions, inferences, as well as go better than expert humans. Self-driving cars are a great example of this. Uh, when a self-driving car is made, when the software is created, it's not just thrown out on the road. Uh, in a car to do whatever it will. A uh, person is trained in a simulation. And in this simulation, a neural network is used to teach it what's right and what's wrong on the road. Uh, you can understand this given their system of guesses and corrections for learning. The program guesses, okay, the car should go this way or should do this in this circumstance. And it's given feedback on whether that was right or wrong and adjusts itself. So it's right more often than wrong less often. And after training for weeks, months, years probably, given the complexity of training that software driving car, it will learn to drive as well as better than humans. And artificial intelligence is another extremely significant area where neural networks have great applications because they help, they allow AI to learn to adapt to its circumstances. In particular, if a general AI is ever created, that is, an AI capable of doing any intellectual task a human can, as described by my friend uh, Dimitri in his presentation, uh, then neural networks will be a key component. That will be what allows it to act like a human. Neural networks have the potential to revolutionize our society in much the same way that the tractor revolutionized agriculture. And it's all through the power of emulating humans, of trying to be like you because you are impossibly smart. 